So you want to become a blockchain developer in 2021. In this video, I'm going to break down the steps for you to become a blockchain developer, even if you have no coding experience whatsoever. Hi, I'm Ed Zinda, and this is What The Funk. Before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure to hit that notification icon so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Becoming a blockchain developer is no easy task. There's quite a bit of knowledge to absorb and a lot of concepts to understand. Don't worry, though. It's not impossible, and I'm going to break down what I believe to be the simplest, most straightforward route to becoming a blockchain developer. Step one, which is no surprise, learn a programming language. I could probably simplify it even further by saying learn JavaScript. The reason being that JavaScript can be used both on the front end and the back end. If you have no idea what that means, you should go ahead and get familiar with those concepts as well. Your foundation in JavaScript and coding back end and front end applications will help you to later tie those concepts together when you start building decentralized applications. Once you get into the basics of JavaScript, you should start diving in to building web applications. And I can't stress this enough, you should be doing this as soon as possible. I firmly believe that building is a better teacher than actually reading or consuming video content online. Building is what's going to help you solidify these concepts much faster. Step two, learn how to use the command line. Now for a lot of people, the command line is pretty scary, especially if you're used to using a mouse, point and click, or touch interfaces like on your phone. I'm here to tell you that it's not that difficult once you understand what's actually going on. You're gonna to need to know how to enter basic commands, navigate through your computer, through the different folder structures. You're also gonna to have to understand basic file management like creating files, deleting files, copying files, etc. You definitely don't have to be a system administration wizard, but you do have to know these basic things. Mastering the command line is essential if you want to be an efficient developer in the future. Your development life will be so much easier once you understand this. Step three, choose a blockchain. Now there are quite a few blockchains out there with their pros and their cons, but I'm going to make it extremely simple for you. Choose Ethereum. Ethereum is just clearly unrivaled when it comes to the size of the developer community, user activity, and useful. It's definitely not perfect, and it has its fair share of problems, but there's no better platform to build blockchain applications on, in my opinion. You should become familiar with how Ethereum works, how blocks are created, what nodes are, how do they come to agreement on when to include blocks, learn about mining, how that works, learn about transactions, what data is actually included in a transaction, and also learn about smart contracts. What are they and how do they work? Once you become familiar with all this, you can check out the other blockchains and see how they compare and contrast with Ethereum. Step four, learn a smart contract programming language. Now, because we've already chosen Ethereum, the logical choice would be Solidity. I know there are other programming languages, for example, Viper, but Solidity is the most widely used language on Ethereum. This will make it easier for you to find resources and information when you're learning the language. Once you learn the basics, you should jump in immediately to start building your own smart contracts. You can do this with Remix, a web-based IDE and development platform located at remix.ethereum.org. This is the quickest and easiest way to write, test, and deploy your smart contracts to the blockchain. You should become familiar with deploying your smart contracts to networks like the Ethereum mainnet, testnets, and even on your local machine. You should know how to send Ethereum programmatically. You should know how to change the state of your smart contracts. You should also be able to create smart contracts that communicate with each other. Again, as soon as possible, just start building and playing around. Step five, learn a smart contract framework. Now this step isn't technically required, but it will make your development life a whole lot easier. Learning a framework like Truffle or Hardhat will simplify everything from writing, testing, and deploying your smart contracts. Also, the command line skills you learned earlier will come in very handy. And finally, step six, learn to create a front end for your smart contracts. Most of your users aren't going to be computer experts, 
they won't be interacting with your smart contracts from the command line like you will be. You're going to have to provide a sexy user interface for your users to interact with your application. This is where your JavaScript front-end skills are going to come in. Creating a blockchain application is nearly identical to creating a web application, except that the backend portion is most likely going to be replaced by smart contracts rather than a centralized backend server. You're going to need to become familiar with libraries like Ethers.js or Web3.js. These libraries are going to help you connect your smart contracts to the user interface. Once again, I encourage you to start building things as soon as you can to help you connect the dots. And there you have it. That's my simplified roadmap for becoming a blockchain developer in 2021. Again, it's not easy, but I believe it's the most straightforward path to go from zero to blockchain development. So what do you think? Are you planning to become a blockchain developer this year? Are you already a blockchain developer and you feel that I've left out something in this list? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.